Uh, hi, everyone. Thanks so much for coming. Uh, today, we're going to cover uh, Vimeo and Final Cut Pro. We have a brand new app that we released in the App Store uh, today uh, that covers a seamless workflow to host, collaborate, and distribute high-quality video. Uh, and I just wanted to give, before I demo the app, I wanted to give a little bit of context as to why it's so important for Vimeo and Final Cut Pro to uh, have a partnership. So a little bit of background about Vimeo. Our mission is to empower creators to tell exceptional stories and connect with their audiences and communities. And what that really is built on is a foundation of a seamless workflow that, uh, that supports creators uh, wherever they work. Uh, so when we were looking at you know, just what that workflow is, the way Vimeo looks at it is it's really end to end. Uh, but when it comes to this app, uh, we really wanted to focus on the uh, areas of enhancement, collaboration, management, and distribution. Uh, that's really where we felt like a partnership with Final Cut Pro would be very valuable. We get millions of uploads from Final Cut Pro annually from the native integration that we already have within uh, Final Cut Pro X. The way that we really build our roadmap is working backwards from our creators and solving problems that are important to, uh, that are important to them. Uh, based on just the number of our creators who work within Final Cut Pro, uh, it was important that we found a way to integrate that. So after numerous user interviews, we really identified uh, several areas of uh, opportunity, specifically with the new version of Final Cut Pro 10.41 that really focuses on closed captioning support. So one is obviously having an efficient workflow and supporting creators where they work, that they would be able to stay within Final Cut Pro and track their upload and transcode progress without having to go to Vimeo.com and uh, track that progress themselves. The other is high quality. Final Cut Pro supports uh, advanced video codecs, including ProRes. The native Vimeo integration didn't do that. And it was important that we really focused on, on quality in this, uh, in this release. Uh, third was closed captioning support, which I already covered. And then the other was the really basic uh, important tools that uh, are really important to, to our creators in terms of managing their video content. And that's uh, control over the title, the privacy, uh, and then also the ability to very quickly copy a link. And you can share it in a Slack channel, share it over email, uh, all without having to leave your desktop. So without further ado, let's actually show how this thing works. So for the sake of speed, uh, I, I already have my video uploaded with captions within Final Cut Pro. If you're not familiar with the new, uh, the new version, uh, there's roles that really specify the different, uh, different languages available within captions. Uh, the captions lay over the, uh, over the timeline. And uh, just can see how this video plays uh, within Final Cut Pro. Captions start appearing. Uh, Here at Vimeo, there's always one five. thing on our minds. How to make your video... Great. So let's say I've done all my editing in here, and this is really up to, up to snuff. So normally, when you're exporting to Vimeo, you have shared destinations up here. The one I'm showing you here is the, the native Vimeo integration. So you see the Vimeo Advanced shared destination here. Uh, that's because I've downloaded the app from the, from the App Store. When I select that, if I go to Roles, this is a new, uh, a new setting in the new version of uh, Final Cut Pro where I can choose the captions and export each uh, ITT language uh, as a separate file. If I go back to, to settings, in terms of video codecs, I have a lot more options in terms of supporting the highest quality formats. At this point, you can export, set the title. I'll set this to only me. Uh, and then when I choose to upload, uh, the desktop app will acknowledge that it's waiting for an export. At that point, once the video is fully finished exporting from Final Cut Pro, which you can track from uh, within Final Cut Pro, uh, this is, should be a short enough file, so we shouldn't have to wait too long. But you're able to track that progress from uh, within the app itself. To, for the sake of the demo, I did do an upload previously, so we would be able to showcase a little bit more about all the functionality the app gives while you're working within Final Cut Pro. Normally, you would see the, the progress of the uh, of the export, including our uploading and transcoding uh, right, right down here on the bottom. You see the captions that you've exported are available within the desktop app. This will link to uh, the specific areas on the site where we found it was most valuable to, to take our creators. So in terms of just walking here from edit info, it's that title and description you had before. In terms of setting privacy, you can set privacy right from within the desktop app, including whether or not you want to allow comments and downloads of that video. 
if you're a pro member or higher, you would have the ability to, uh, to view a review page, which would give you the ability to see that clip. In this case, we can see this clip with the, uh, with the captions uploaded and play that in, play that in line. Look amazing. And that same Look editing amazing. that you did within the app the will clip. also display on these, uh, on the review pages as well as within the clip page itself. So if you go back, we also have the options to copy the video link, copy the review link, copy the embed code, or just view the, the, the video directly within Vimeo. In this case, we can use this one. And you can watch uh, whatever video you have, uh, you've exported. That effectively covers the app. I mean, we also have the ability, we really wanted to focus on the Final Cut Pro, but obviously if you have manual downloads and you're not exporting from Final Cut Pro, there are options to, uh, to upload multiple videos from within the app, as well as see any notifications and activity. In this case, if you've deleted videos, they won't appear here, but any uploads that you've done previously will appear in a notifications, uh, notifications tab. Really, this is just the beginning of our, uh, of our desktop app. We plan to make a lot of improvements in terms of bringing time-coded markers that exist within the review pages into Final Cut Pro, uh, exporting chapter markers, different areas that we found uh, are really important, but we felt like this was a really great first step uh, in showing that uh, we want to bring Vimeo to where our creators work. But other than that, I look forward to hearing from you. And in general, Vimeo uh, enjoys hearing from uh, video professionals and creators in the field. Uh, so I appreciate you all showing up and uh, taking the time. Thanks.